Hello everyone, uh, my name is Saeed Irfan Arifin and I will be presenting our work. Uh, it's called Deep Neural Exposure. You can run but not hide your neural network architecture. Uh, this work was done by myself and Dr. Abdul Sarwadda from Texas Tech University. Uh, our work focuses on exposing the architecture uh, running on a GPU uh, by monitoring its power. And this power monitoring is done on the software level. So let's get into it. So what are neural networks? Uh, neural networks are a series of algorithms that mimic the operation of a human brain. Uh, these are interconnected processing elements, such as neurons, uh, that make a series of transformation of the data to generate its own understanding of the data uh, which we call features. Uh, it, it finds relationship between large amount of data and it's been used in many fields such as for like financial services like um, fraud detection, image recognition, uh, it's even also used in uh, landing a robotic probe on a comet. So there are uh, many different types of neural networks. Uh, mostly uh, the ones that we see are artificial neural networks, or ANN, convolution neural networks, CNN, and recurrent neural networks, or RNN. And in this work, we'll be focusing on CNNs. So uh, there are, you know, the CNNs are like, uh, there are many different uh, architecture of CNNs are available. And uh, the most of the CNNs that are used in our research are from the ILS VRC, which is uh, the ImageNet large-scale visual recognition challenge. It comes up and evaluates different sort of algorithms for object detection and image classification. For an example, we have um, AlexNet, uh, which, which came in the very beginning of ILS VRC in 2012. Then we have VGG in 2013, InceptionNet in 2014, ResNet in 2015, DenseNet uh, in 2017, that was from CDPR and NASNIC from uh, Google, it was uh, published in 2018, and so on. So this is uh, VGG Architecture 16, and uh, you can see that there are like several layers of uh, convolution here. Uh, there are some uh, fully connected layers here, and uh, so there are like a total of three fully connected layers here, and uh, a total of 13 convolution layers here. And we have a five pulling layer here and one softmax layer at the end. And there, are, there exists this sort of architecture for uh, all the networks that we have used in this research. They have different uh, architectures and different uh, layers. So we'll be focusing on that. So there's like a little comparison and o an overview uh, comparison of uh, CNN architecture. Uh, you can see that we have uh, like 10 uh, commonly used CNN architectures here, and they have different level and different numbers of convolution layer, fully connected layer, uh, and pulling layer. They even use different input sizes, and there are like a uh, different number of total parameters. Uh, they use a different uh, number of uh, dropout in different levels to optimize their architecture. And we have some uh, salient features here, which are basically uh, some special characteristics of those architectures. And uh, they have a very different accuracy level, like top five and top one accuracy for all of these uh, architectures. And uh, these accuracies are based on uh, data sets provided by ImageNet and are equally uh, evaluated. So we'll be doing some power measurements in our work. Uh, we used a software developed by Tech Power Up, and it's called GPU-Z. And this software is, uh, can read the sensors, uh, the power sensors available in the GPU. And it uses uh, some sort of low-level API, mostly NV API, for reading the uh, GPU sensors. And it can produce a sampling rate of uh, 100 samples per second. So, and, uh, and the sensors that we'll be focusing on in our work are board power draw, GPU chip power draw, 8 pin connector, PCI Express slot power draw, uh, MVDDC power draw, which is uh, a power draw uh, by GPU memory, and power consumption TDP, which is a thermal design power. So we'll be uh, collecting uh, this power information 
while we are running the neural networks. And then using that uh, power data for our further classification. So in our implementation, we use pre-trained CNNs because uh, training a CNN is a very uh, time-consuming and resource-consuming work. So there are uh, a lot of pre-trained uh, CNNs available uh, and it's uh, available uh, by PyTorch. Uh, it's, it's available with the PyTorch library. So we used those and there, uh, there are many different variants of those architectures. We also use those in a different attack scenario. We'll be discussing that later. And we use Python to implement the experiment. Our machine that we use for this experiment uh, has an Intel Core i7 processor, uh, an NVIDIA RTX 2060 GPU uh, with 30 gigs of memory and 512 gigabytes of PCI Express SSD. So the data was collected from GPUZ, and uh, GPUZ actually produces a log file. So we use that log file to collect, to copy the data uh, and mark them based on the corresponding architecture and sample that we are uh, running against uh, to further classify our work. So we did some feature extraction on the Power dataset, and this feature extraction was done using the TSFresh library. So these are the features that we extracted for all the sensors, and just the Benford correlation was uh, done on all the sensors except for MVDDC and PCI Express slot. So here is a 2D plot of two features that's been extracted from the power data. And these are auto covariance of power GPU chip and absolute energy of power GPU chip. And you can see that if we focused on uh, four uh, architectures here, just to uh, show you that the difference of uh, uh, the difference of how these architectures behave. So you, we can see that uh, the red the red mark is an AlexNet, yellow is a DPN, blue is a PolyNet, and BGG is dark blue or navy blue here. And uh, we use two different data sets here to tr to test against. Uh, the neural networks. Uh, so we have uh, a dataset one and dataset two, and dataset one is a cats and dogs dataset, uh, which has like 100 images of uh, different breeds of cats and, and dogs. And uh, we on dataset two, we have 100 samples of random images. We just wanted to see that how this performs. And um, we found, and, and we actually uh, uh, ran this two data set against this uh, 10 core CNN architectures. And uh, uh, we used two different classifiers to further classify our result, and we used random forest and logistic regression to do so. And here are the results. So we can see that uh, data set one performed poor compared to data set two, because uh, the power draw pattern were quite similar in case of data set one samples compared to data set two. Uh, since dataset 2 is a random, uh, has random images, it, it, it showed uh, different power draw patterns when they were classified by the neural network architectures. So here is the confusion matrix of random forest classification performed on dataset 1 and dataset 2. So we have, uh, I mark uh, the labels here with numbers and here are the corresponding uh, architecture name with the numbers. And you can see that data set two performed very well. Um, so here, uh, here's an example attack scenario. So some user may be using uh, some uh, AI application which uses some video, audio, or maybe image to do some task, uh, and they're running that on their computer. So if we have some client uh, installed on that computer, which monitors the GPU power draw pattern, then we can classify and uh, get our hands onto some secret information that that proprietary DNN application might not want to reveal. So before describing the attack scenario further, I just wanted to show uh, the different uh, variants of the CNN architectures that are available with the PyTorch library. So there are seven architecture series that have different variants, like SquizNet has SquizNet 1 and 1.1, DPN has a bunch of different uh, variations, VGG has a lot of variations, and so on. 
So we will also be using the variance in our attack scenario, which I'll be describing shortly. So we have three different uh, attack configuration here. So the first attack configuration focuses on the use of the core 10 CNN architectures for both training and testing purposes. So this is uh, to assume that the attacker has uh, access to this 10 core uh, training data. So if he trains his, uh, his classifier with this 10 core architectures and get uh, power data information from the victim and tests against this and he can find out what architecture that, uh, that victim is using. Uh, on our attack configuration 2, we assume that the attacker has access to uh, the seven core uh, CNN architectures, which, are, which also have variants, but it, uh, the attacker do not know about the variants. But it attacks a victim who, ha who is using some sort of variant of this core architecture. In that case, uh, the attacker can uh, guess or understand what uh, variant that uh, victim is using. And for the attack configuration three, we have used uh, the idea that uh, the attacker has access to uh, this 32 variants and have framed his classifier based on that. So once he gets the data from the victim, uh, he can uh, 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 classify that what variant that um, the victim is using. So our results came up and we found that for attack configuration one, we have the highest accuracy, which is 82.81%. And for attack configuration two, uh, we have an accuracy of 42%. And for the attack configuration three, we have an accuracy of 64.17%. So that will be all for our presentation. Thank you very much.